Happy Monday. How is everybody doing today? Here I am on the author page of Facebook and we moved over here effective today and we've posted that we're here so I am joining you from this page. Now I created the Diane A. Allen author Facebook page because you know I have a lot of books out and I continue to write and I think being an author is part of my core. You know, my maternal grandmother was an award-winning author in a time when women didn't even write. She had to write under a pen name because of the, the position of her husband and her family. And, and I've always heard this story and never really connected to how that's really part of my own energy until um, later, you know, when I was in my 30s, I guess. My mom, um, was a lover of words. In fact, the very first book, really, that I ever read my, on my own, or tried to read on my own, was a dictionary. And my favorite books in elementary school and junior high school was the encyclopedia. Because the encyclopedia and the um, dictionary and things like that taught me words. I love words. And my mother used to always teach me to never use a word I do not know the definition of. Never. So the author page is important to me because we are paying attention to our words. What words do we use? What words do we um, say, think, and express? So that's what this page is about. It's about words. So today is Monday. It's my favorite day of the week. I always wake up on Monday with great anticipation, great amazingness inside, and a focus on what wonderful thing can I create and bring into the world on this day. And while so many people are lamenting that it's Monday, or not liking Monday, or resisting Monday, we could call it any day if we wanted to. There will always be somebody out there who's going to say, Oh, gross, it's a bad day. I can't believe I have to work. But well, what I say is I get to. I am so excited that I get to do the great, amazing things I do in my life. So I love Monday because I spent all weekend, as you guys know, and Diane Appreciation Weekend, and I hope you did the same because I invited you to do it with me. And I did creative things, and I enjoyed myself and I spent very minimal time on my computer and really and didn't do any work other than some mental kind of ponderings maybe and um, that kind of thing but I really didn't I didn't do any work and so I woke up this morning with this really interesting feeling in my energetic field and what that tells me is that as an empath I'm picking up on something something's going on there's a shift there's a shift happening Years ago when I would have this feeling, uh, before I was aware that it was connected to me being an empath, that, um, and I feel everything, I was like, whoa, what is all this stuff? And I used to think there was something wrong with me, but now I, I know better, you know, and I, I know I'm picking up on things in the, in the world. And somebody just a little while ago said, well, you think it's the weather? You know, you're having bad weather soon. And I said, no, no, it's when I, my energetic is picking up on out in the, in the existential energy of the world is more than weather. So I have a choice. My choice is breathe into it and get into it and suck myself into it, which is not the highest choice, by the way. But my ego wants to go like a cat. Ooh, let me see what it is. Let me investigate. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me go massage it and turn it all around and make it a thing. But that's not how you handle it. Your ego is not your amigo, it's wrong. The way you deal with it or the way you approach feeling things is you take a couple deep long breaths and you shake it off and then you say, how can I raise my vibration? Yes, because only in raising your vibration are you of any benefit in this planet. So all of us who are growing personally, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, all of us who are on a growth path, some days we're great at it, some days we're not so great at it. That's not my point. 
all of us on a growth path. It's time to take the high road. It is. The high road meaning breathing and releasing and blessing whatever this energy is that I'm feeling. I still feel it. I can feel it right down through um, my high heart, into my chest, into my, not quite to my diaphragm. And so what that's telling me is that there's a lot of existential grief or some kind of pain or something. And I wouldn't be surprised if somebody I love and care about is really suffering this morning, something like that. So instead of getting in it and then taking away my light and my ability to help heal and help bring something better forward, my only responsibility is breathe, let the energy keep flowing so that whatever is happening can be healed itself, right? If I hold on to it, I stop its healing. And then to focus on the light. It's that simple. Now, is it easy all the time? No, not easy. Because it's persistent. I've been up since five o'clock. I have gone on a two mile walk. I have eaten a healthy breakfast. I have talked to some people. I have put together some things to mail because I have to go to the post office later. I have prepared for multiple meetings today. Let me see what else have I done. Besides taking a shower and everything else, I've done a lot already and the energy's still there. So what that tells me is there's something going on in the ethers and the energies that I'm picking up on. It is not mine and I don't get to claim it as mine, and I would be in error if I tried to assign it to me, because it's not mine. I'm just feeling it and noticing it. So my responsibility in feeling and noticing it is raise my vibration. Only light gets rid of the darkness. Only light gets rid of the darkness. Only your light gets rid of the darkness. Thinking about it, understanding about it, talking about it, making it a story, creating a badge for it, building yourself a castle around the it is goofy. It's old news that left years ago. And if we continue to do it, we suffer more and more and more. So it's time to breathe through things and clear out the energy and keep moving. That has been the very strong message today. And on my walk, as I was thinking about standing in my light, like my shoulders back and standing in my light and letting my light vibration rise and breathing in goodness and sharing light to wherever this is going on around me, as I was doing that, an armadillo walked right in front of me and Maggie. Now, I have not yet seen an armadillo here, though I have seen their little holes in the ground. But that was the first one I ever saw here. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at armadillo. And what do armadillos do, right? <clears throat> they roll up when, and play dead and hide, you know, when they're, they're afraid. And so he reminded me to, um, that I could roll up and hide, that's a choice. Or I could breathe my light, that would be a choice. Or I could be like the ducks and I could squawk myself silly, that's the choice, that could be a choice. I could be like this gusty wind and blow away the goofy stuff, that's a choice. I have tons of choices. I might use them all today, who knows? Um, it's gonna be an interesting day for me because I have one appointment after the other with only a few breaks until, I think my last appointment ends at like 10. And so it's gonna be a nice, interesting, fun day. I get to have cool meetings with other um, spiritually based wellness people. I get to have meetings with, um, a standing appointment that I have with one of my really good colleague friends today at lunchtime, so I always look forward to that. I have a few clients to see. I have other things to create. And my new website's almost done. You guys are gonna love it, it's so good. And so it's amazing, all of these things that are happening. So today is a day for you to check in with your energy, what is going on, and then choosing to elevate your vibration so that the light your light, the light moving through you, is how the universe experiences you today. Something could be sad out there. People are afraid. There's craziness. Crazy. It's a great Monday morning for Diane Allen. <laughs> hey, Jeff. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's my neighbor. He's Judy's husband. They're the coolest people. They live next door. <laughs> He's been saying, he's been trying to walk by and say that 
in the middle of my live for a few weeks now. So he's probably feeling really excited and that elevated his light and it brought a chuckle to me. So it elevated mine. So today it's Monday and it's time for us to really do that, right? So we did appreciation weekend for ourselves all weekend. And I hope you followed with me and did it because I did. Now, I have a little bit of a challenge for us coming for this week, Monday through Friday this week, starting today. And that is appreciation week. So it's still the AW, but for other people. So here are examples to show appreciation at least once every day for another person. First of all, choose somebody you don't typically show appreciation toward. That you think it, but you don't necessarily show it. Don't take the easy, the easy road out the, you know, well, I'll just say a prayer. No. Tangible, human-to-human -human appreciation. And a really good example of that, if you know anyone who owns their own business, right now it's really important to offer them support. And obviously if they're closed or they, you can't get a gift certificate, you can't go buy something, but you could go on Facebook and write a recommendation, or you could go on Google or Yelp and write a really nice recommendation. Or you could go on LinkedIn if you're on LinkedIn and you could find people that you believe in what they're doing and you can write a recommendation for them on LinkedIn. Because on LinkedIn it's the only platform it can't be faked, right? Um, you could do something like that. You could post something really nice about that other person publicly so that other people see what you feel about that person. You could do a YouTube video reviewing somebody's book or, or work somebody's doing so that there's video content on your YouTube channel that you hashtag them in. You could do all those kinds of social media things since we're all locked in our house like on Instagram or Pinterest or whatever. You could do that. That's a way to show appreciation. You could write a snail mail card and mail it to somebody that's not expecting it. In fact, I just got, I should, should have brought it out here. I just got an envelope in the mail from somebody who sends me snail mail here and there. And I had these two papers folded in there and I opened them up and they were adult coloring books. And so one was like an elephant and one was something else. And they had cuss words on them. Like, I can't remember what it said. Not, I'm like cracking up like, oh my God. And they, he, in the card, he wrote a beautiful card to me and then put some other little things in there that he knew I would appreciate. So it meant a lot to me that he thought of me, wrote a card, and mailed it. That's, you know, we all probably have a stamp around. We can do that, right? So there's something we can do every day for others. Now, here's the key. Do it with love and kindness and generosity in your heart. Do it with generosity in your heart. Because the spiritual law of the universe is everything you put out, you put, get back times 10. Everything you put out in the world, you get back times 10, except Lionsgate, that's in September, we're good for now. So everything you put out, you get back times 10. So what are you gonna put out knowing that when your heart is pure, you have to have a pure heart for that rule to work, right? For that law to take effect. Every time you give out something, you get it back times 10. So what are you gonna do? To do something kind and generous for another person to raise up there and appreciate them by raising your vibration and supporting their vibration. What are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I already have thought about it. The way I decide, I'm gonna decide each day this week, but the way I'm gonna decide it is when I get up in the morning, I'm gonna feel what I'm led to do. Along with this, I do an hour a week of what I call spiritual tithing. And, and that's almost like what I'm doing now, except I spend an hour a week it's in my calendar, it's an appointment time, that I go into meditation and I tangibly support people that I know have a good heart and are really trying to do good work out there in whatever way it is, whether it's you know recommending them on different Facebook groups when I see that need or whatever. Um, because if we don't share what's important and good and, and happy and and we're not supportive people, we're not gonna be supported. So the way it works. So anyway, I was thinking about all that today. See, it's all these pondering things today. And then I was also thinking about kindness and love. I was thinking a lot about love and the different ways humans show love. 
and sometimes we show love like with you know with hugs when we're allowed to hug people again and I can't wait to hug people again um, and we can show love by hanging out together on the zoom and having tea or hanging out with me on my porch you know I show love by doing these lives every day right it's a commitment that I've made in a way to bring more love and light to the world so I pray I pray I pray that it's serving in that way for you guys and I show love by my writing and by how much I love my dog right so what are you doing to show love in the world really really that's tangible that is real for you and that is pure without any undisclosed motive check your motives right so those are my ponderings I think my voice is probably sounds a little quieter mostly because I meditated but also because it's about to rain again and I, I hope it rains a lot because we're down five inches in rain just in 2020 and we need rain so anyway this author page is where you will find all of the posts about my amazing video podcast, my Someone Gets Me podcast, and all the different interviews I do and other ponderings I talk about. It is also where I will be putting more and more of my own content versus my personal page because like I said yesterday, I'm tired of getting stalked. So there you have it. I love you guys so much. I want you to have a joyful, wonderful happy Monday. Be grateful that the rain and the wind are cleansing Mother Earth. They're cleansing the atmosphere and allow yourselves to feel cleansed and lightened from the inside out. And then be on purpose today with tangibly demonstrating appreciation and care for another human being that's not expecting it. And I'm not talking about a random act of kindness to some random person holding a door and smiling. That's nice. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a focused act of appreciation for someone who has touched your life at some point in it, which there's many. So go out there and be real and authentic about it. And the more you do that, the good things will keep coming your way. I'm sure of it. Positive of it. Think about the chrysalis. That little caterpillar has to go all the way down to liquid before the imaginal cells will start creating that magical butterfly. So if you were in the chrysalis, what needs to be liquefied so that the new is pure and whole and clean? And that is your message for today from my porch. Thank you from my heart to your heart hanging out with me. Thank you for finding me over here. And I hope I get to see you tomorrow morning too at the same time, because this is where I will be. If you're ever looking for me at nine o'clock on a Monday, on a morning Eastern time, guess where I'll be? Hanging out on my porch with my beautiful dog and with you guys. So virtual hug. Oh, I wish I could hug you in person. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.